you know what I find crazy? People that don't live with you assume about your health. Assume that you're either healthy or you're doing good. When anyway, my son comes over often, and I him and his friend see that healthy and not doing that good. There's some days where it's other, extremely exhausted, and always in a lot of pain. Some days are worse than others. Some days my whole body hurts. Some days I get muscle spasm and it pinches a nerve. And my arm or my legs hurt really bad where I just want to rip them off. And the pain's so bad after the ER. And I try not to go to the ER because... I don't want to get COVID that and I just I don't like always going there and when it's really bad my pain levels at a 15 and they give me a morphine shot and they give me the shot let me rest for a little bit and it knocks me out and then they come and check on me and it does make me a little dizzy and queasy and then they send me on my way. And then I'm at least able to sleep when I get home. But when that pain's that bad, I can't sleep. I can't do anything. And lately, my heart's been bothering me too, where I get sharp pains. And it knocks me down, the pain so bad. And it hurts to even breathe. Her kudos is an invisible owner. She can't look at somebody and tell that they're sick and how bad they are. Unless you're on them a lot and they end up having a really bad day. They're getting dressed, sometimes even taking a bath. It still wears me out. Not as much as it did when I first was diagnosed, thankfully. And thankfully, I'm able to dress myself. Um, and the most part cook for myself, but even there's some days where I'm so tired I can't even take that. But thankfully, in those days, my son will come over and help me out. And he'll help take up my dog too, but there's sometimes he can't because he's working or he's busy, whatever. And I'll put pads down for my dog. And she knows when I get that bad, she has to go on the pads. She doesn't like to, but she'll do it. So I have bad days and worse days. Yeah. It sucks. There's a lot of invisible illnesses. You can't just look at somebody and tell if they're sick or how bad they're doing. That's why people should be kind. But you never know. If you're mean, that's the push that sends them over the edge. You just never know. And there's 6,000 diseases with no cure. Sarcoidosis and lupus is one of them. And I know I need to get my heart checked. It's my doctor. <sighs> Most likely he's right because I have sarcoidosis in my heart. But I want to try to get kidneys and my liver healthier and I definitely want to lose weight because if he's right I'm going to have to do the MRI with the dye which can mess up my kidney and I want to talk see if I can have them do the saline um, mm -hmm. afterwards to help flush that out because that will help and I also want to lose weight if I have sarcoidosis in my heart, I need to be put back on prednisone. And last time I was on prednisone, I gained over 100 pounds in less than a month. I was at 132, and I went from that to 250 pounds in less than a month. Now I'm at 173.
And if I, if it does the same, which I'm sure it will, then even gaining all that weight, it's going to mess up my kidney and my liver. So I'm going to do my best to try to lose weight. Get everything as healthy as I can. But I also know if I keep waiting, my heart can get damaged. And it could get so bad that I won't be here. Which is scary too. Because I want to be here as long as I can for my kids. You know, three of them are adults. I still want to be there for them and protect them if need be. Tell them when they were younger. I dated really bad people. Didn't know it at the time, but yeah. <sighs> so, I just want to be here as long as I can for all six. Having sore throats, more lupus, it's extremely scary. Extremely scary. Sarcoidosis, just like lupus, it attacks all organs, nerve systems, muscles, bones, and skin. Sarcoidosis attacks fasting, which is really scary. I much love you guys.